accompanied by top Calabari sons and daughters, yes, some weekends in the oil-rich coastal community of Soku to seek the people's votes ahead of the April 11 governorship election. More importantly, the PDP governorship candidate is in the area to assure the people of his resolve to find solution to the disputed Soku oil wells. By the grace of God, when I come in with your daughter, May 29th, it will not take us more than one year. That problem will be resolved. I was commissioned under Amechi, let me tell you, Soku gas plant issue has not been resolved because Amechi does not want it to be resolved. And I want to tell you that the day Wike becomes governor, in one year, by the grace of God, this Soku oil field issue will be resolved. Wike would, however, like to know what's become of the derivation funds collected from the oil wells by the River State Government. It's the basic responsibility of River State Government to provide you the social amenities. Not to talk about when you are the one producing the wealth of this nation. And the state government is collecting 30%. From Soku, the PDP campaign trail then proceeded to Kula, another oil rich community begging for attention. Come on, good water to drink, we don't have. Before somebody will say, My Bella, my Bella, I want to deliver, they will pull the person from here to Abonima. Close to two hours. Some of them die on the way. For his part, Yesom Wiki promised to make disadvantaged communities like Kula the primary focus of his administration. We shall make sure that will provide a befitting health center in this place. We are going to create a special scholarship to the Oceania uh, community so that their children will be able to compete favorably with others. The PDP governorship candidate also promised to ensure that oil and gas producing communities get their full entitlements from companies operating within their domains.